go-go, you know you're getting the right stuff. I mean, these are great minutes. We use in the gym. All our heavyweights that I hold for. I mean, these guys, these guys kick a ton, and uh, I don't feel anything on my elbows, nothing on my forearms, nothing on my wrists. And uh, I get hit just as hard back, and I don't feel that recoil through my chest and through my shoulders. It's just um, the air filling in these, it just, it just uh, disperses the weight so much, disperses the impact that, uh, that, that the trainer doesn't feel it. So, I, you know, I got you know, 20, 20 fighters in the gym. I can go through all my guys two, three rounds a piece in one morning and, uh, and still feel like I got a little bit of arms left, you know what I mean, for lunch. Right, I mean, and then you look at the size of it, number one, okay? Thick, you know, it's not, it's, I can't bend it, I can't change it. But the reality is, light is there. That's number one. To find something like this, A, would have to be completely covered with rocks to have something that thick to help absorb it, but, okay, or it'd be like so many other tie pads, especially coming up in this sport, we've seen some people make some pretty unbelievable doozies where I can feel the shin actually knifing right through the pad and cutting into my forearms. I mean, it was just atrocious. With this, you can't feel nothing. So hard, and again with the size, but it's so light. It would actually blow your mind exactly how well put yeah, together these are light. because they're extremely light, but they're thick enough you don't feel anything. It's kind of like when we were talking about the gloves and the other things that fighting has made is the material is so strong inside that it doesn't. Have, it's not like they're trying to throw an illusion out there. Well, it's heavy, so it down. must protect you. Yeah, I mean, well, this thing weighs 10, you know, 20 pounds. It must work. But no, the reality is, their light is there, they hold hard, and again, when it's all about being able to absorb, because now you're dealing with somebody's two biggest bats. A, we're throwing them into a knees, we're throwing their knees, they're throwing front kicks. These are your two biggest cushions. These are the things that are gonna help you the most, because rather than doing mitts, boxing, when you're doing tie, now they're just basically swinging bats at you. Like Tony was saying, he'll have to go through a class of kids. They'll be, you know, five, six, seven, eight kids, four rounds, five minutes, you know, kick, kick, kick. You need to have the right kind of pad. You can't just put your arm in anything and people are gonna find out real fast. I don't care if you're sponsored by them or not. The reality is a lot of people know right now, they like, well, I'm gonna change the label real quick. And they just dying to have a pad like this because again, they're light enough. A, you're not dealing with the arm fatigue. That's one reason why you want them all big and bulky. And B, the other reason is they can't be too thin and light because then you're gonna start getting your arms dug into. Yeah. Somebody had to go out there and make the perfect middle, nice, thick, good disbursement. I don't know if people understand what disbursement means, but if I were to kick it here, the energy is coming straight through, straight through. When you line that up, that's right on the weak part of my arm. When it hits, it disperses through the pad, so you're not taking it centralized into that exact spot where the hitters that can kick over and over and over. So they've done a great job, not just in the in the pads of punching people in the face, but in the pads of catching those punches. So again, I mean, for me, no lie, I've been in this sport a long time, and I'm starting to really dig this uh, red, white, and blue, so if you're patriotic, that's one thing. <laughs> you might as well get it just for that, but the other thing is, they actually, like I said, you gotta try it, give it a whirl, 